So here we are, next day, we've got our girls on board, stuck them in a shopping bag. Well, it's a thermal line shopping bag, so it's all good. And we're heading down to, heading down to the scrub to get these splits organised, so it should be good. We're trying to get a bit organised and we've got a reasonably early start, except some twat forgot the smoker, so we had to go home for that, which was really great. But anyway, so it's near on 10 o'clock and it's 35 degrees already. Hang on, 36 degrees already. My goodness me, so it's supposed to be 44 here in the Riverland today, so that'll be just dandy. So we're hoping that we'll be back in the shade by the time we get all this done. It's just another day here in paradise. I don't know how bloody hot it is, I think it was 36 when we got out of the car. So we thought we'd better leave the air conditioning on for the ladies, but of course, we're not gonna get air conditioned. My cameraman's not really impressed about the fact that he's out here in the heat, but anyway, here we are. Because the bees turn up and things have gotta happen. So I've got the cooling on, the ladies are in a shopping bag in the back seat, so they're chilling out, they're having a good time. Uh, we're getting hot, so we're gonna get this shit done so we can get out of here. After yesterday when we put the um, brood comb on top of the queen excluders, so we've come down here to, we've brought our queens with us. We're just gonna take these brood frames off and we're going to place them in these new boxes and hopefully there'll be enough nurse bees to keep the new queen rocking and of course there's plenty of brood so hopefully there's enough to hatch all that out and yeah shit they should take off and like it's basically the same principle as we did at home when we were making a queenless split but these girls are going to get a queen because I'm you know some of these are a bit angry and I don't necessarily want to propagate from this particular breed but I I'm quite impressed with how much honey they're producing. They're just a bit crazy. You don't want to smoke them too much because you really don't want to chase the, the bees back down into, under the queen excluder. The idea is to get the nurse bees at the top of the hive. So, you know, they get a bit toey when you do that, but it's better than them running away from you. So we're just going to take the four frames out the middle of these boxes that we're going to transfer into. So hopefully we put the brood in the middle Bit of honey either side, and they've got some extra frames to expand into. If you really get excited, you can put some, make up some boards or a bit of cardboard and put in there, um, you know, so they're a bit more confined. I've done that before and come back and they've eaten the cardboard out, so, you know, if you're gonna do that, don't stuff around and leave it for a month. Whoop, look at that. That's looking pretty good. There's a few ladies at the top getting bloody stung at the minute. Fuck, where are we? Any idea which one we're looking for? <laughs> Have a look at this. That's why we're not really using these bees, because they're a bit fucking crazy. Look at them. They're psycho. We're just going to take these couple of frames out of here. So we've got some nurse bees. i just make sure I've got the right one. This one might be, this is a honey frame here. Come on. Bloody hell, Harry. <laughs> Go on. You wouldn't think such little creatures could make such a big mess, would you? Or is that us that are making the mess? These guys are all nice and neat and tidy. See, there's some nice nurse bees. I'll put it in there. The extra ones. Yeah, that's just for a bit of honey. So they got something to eat while they get organised. Because they'll freak out and stay a bit confined in here for a little while. So they'll get themselves a bit excited. Cause they're like, fuck, we had, a, we had a big house before with other girls and shit was going in all good directions. It's no wonder they bloody bite us humans though, is it? You come here and fuck with them. <laughs> I reckon I'd bite me as well. These ones are just to replace the ones we just took out. So they got something to work on. And now, yeah, of course, you see when you bang them, they do like, not like getting banged. One thing about them, they're not banging. They're not liking that bit, the banging bit. these lock things. Some bloody clever farmer, I'll bet you. Okay, well we're just going to load these up. Obviously we've got the splits off now, so we're going to take them to a different spot just because I, I don't actually want them here. You can just leave them here, it won't really matter, but I don't want to keep them here so I want to put them somewhere else. 
And then these two boxes that we've got left, we're going to pull this one apart because we found the queen in there the other week or the other day. And we're going to take that whole thing. So they'll really take off. But how we figure out which ones we take to where, I don't know. We're going to pull this box apart because we got the queen out of there and they're a real bunch of shitty ass bees. So I want to actually just split them off and actually make tidily new colonies and see whether we can get some fresh blood in there with our nice little relaxed Langswin bees. So we'll see what happens. But hell, you know, it could be a bad idea, but we're going to find out in about 10 minutes. Well, probably two minutes. One minute from now. <laughs> Right, let's have a look what's going on in this mess. Close your eyes. Now, how does that song go? Something else. <gasps> here they are, here they are, very bloody excitable. We're gonna take half of the top and put in the sides, and then we'll do the other half in the middle at the bottom. And that will work here quite nicely, I reckon. And I don't know what we do with these extra bits, but we'll probably put them back together here somewhere. Rolly oh, cheeky babes. What's going on in here? Look out, cameraman. This is when they get really silly. <laughs> Aye. Hang on. these frames in here and leave this box here. You see all these crazy bitches that are flying around here and out of space, they're everywhere. They're all going to come back in here and look for somewhere to live. So I figure you can either, they can come back and make home in here again and then we'll come back next week and pop a new queen in with all of this lot and that'll be fabulous. So then we'll have the whole thing fixed up which would be kind of cool I reckon because they're a little bit towy this lot as I've said before I guess if someone come and kick my house apart I'd be a bit cranky too so this box we're going to put at the other end because I forgot to bring one for that one that needs supering down here but luckily enough we had enough frames left over so well, maybe I did plan it you see perhaps it was all in the plan <laughs> I don't think the lad believes me but you know possible possible that it was part of the plan anyway that should give them a bit more room to play there we go pop that bit of that there they can work that stuff back together don't fucking fight me fuck off there's a reason the father of beekeeping you know mr langsworth who made these cool frames up and did all this cool shit it's a really cool book because it's like written for people that don't well, they're not necessarily convinced that modernised beekeeping is a good idea. So, anyway, the cool thing is, we were saying that maybe God gave bees a sting because otherwise everybody would be eating their honey and they'd die out. So, maybe that's the plan. So that not all of us are silly enough to go and do this crap. <laughs> I don't know. What do you reckon? Is that possible? Just to clarify, Mr. Langsford was a, I think he was a monk or a Catholic priest sort of dude in the monastery doing stuff. Which they did a lot of back in the day. They were they were cool beekeepers back in the day. I suppose. Wow. I suppose they had nothing else to do, did they? Far <laughs> oh. oh. oh, out, Jack. Oh. I should have given you that job. <laughs>